in the last class uh, in this model that is uh, functions of uh, several random variables. In the lecture 1 uh, we discussed uh, the distributions of uh, functions of several random variables and in the second lecture we have discussed uh, order statistics. That means uh, we have created a uh, n dimensional random variable which is a set of uh, order statistics and uh, we discussed the distribution of uh, order statistics and we have discussed some simple uh, examples also. In this lecture we are going to discuss a conditional distribution followed by random sum. So, these two topics uh, which we are going to discuss in the in this lecture. Let us start with the conditional distribution. Conditional distributions. <coughs> we have already studied uh, conditional of uh, events. Let me recall uh, if you have a probability space omega f p for any event a belonging to f the probability of a given b, b is also event that is same as the probability of a intersection b divided by probability of b provided provided probability of b is greater than 0. This is for uh, conditional uh, events conditional probability of event A given event B that is same as probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B provided probability of B is greater than 0. The same concept we are going to introduce for the random variables whatever we have discussed in the model 1 for the events we are going to discuss the same thing for the random variables. Therefore, conceptually it is same, only thing is uh, now we are going to discuss uh, through the random variables. Let me start with the discrete type random variable first, the definition of conditional distribution, then I give one example, then I move into continuous type random variable and the conditional distribution of continuous type random variables then one more example. Let us start with the definition. Let x and y be two discrete type random variables. the conditional probability mass function of the random variable x given the other random variable y takes a value small y that is defined as p x slash y that means uh, it is a conditional distribution of x given the other random variable takes a value capital Y is equal to small y. As a function of x and y, but we write it as a x slash y, it is not x divided by y, 
x slash y that means uh, we have to treat a small y as a constant and the function is a function of x the conditional probability mass function of x given y takes a value small y here you have to treat uh, x as a variable and y as a constant that is same as the probability of x takes a value small x given that y takes a value small y that is same as the conditional probability means uh, the probability of x takes a value small x and y takes a value small y divided by probability of uh, y takes a value small y. This is for uh, all y for which the probability of y is equal to small y has to be strictly greater than 0. So, the variable is x you have to treat a small y as a constant and this is defined whenever the probability of y takes a value is equal to small y has to be greater than 0. We call uh, this as the conditional probability mass function of x given the other random variable takes a value y is equal to small y. Since I use the word probability mass function, one can easily verify this satisfies uh, the properties of a probability mass function. That is uh, this probability, the conditional probability mass function satisfies P of uh, x given small y that is always going to be greater than or equal to 0 for all x x given y that probability value is always going to be greater than or equal to 0 for all x. The second condition since it is a conditional probability mass function of x the summation over x the conditional probability mass function for different values of x that summation is going to be 1. That means, uh, this conditional uh, probability mass function also satisfies uh, the these two conditions. Since we are uh, defining this random variable as the x given y takes a value small y, therefore, we should use the word conditional probability mass function. One can visualize uh, if it is a two dimensional random variable with x y the joint probability mass function for uh, different values of x comma y. So, these uh, different heights are nothing but uh, the joint probability mass function for the different values of x comma y. The conditional distribution can be visualized uh, Suppose we make a capital Y takes a value small y, that means uh, you just think of uh, this is going to be capital Y takes a value small y. Then uh, look for what are all the possible uh, joint probability mass function when y is equal to small y. You collect those joint probability mass and uh, you make it addition then normalize it that becomes the conditional distribution. That means, uh, this uh, conditional probability mass function is nothing but find out the joint probability mass function divided by the probability of y is equal to small y. By normalizing this value is going to be between 0 to 1. The same way one can uh, visualize uh, the conditional uh, distribution of y given x is equal to x that is a conditional uh, distribution of y given x as a function of y treating small x as a constant. So, this is called a 
conditional probability mass function of y given x takes a value small x. So, this also can be visualized by making x is equal to x. So, this is a line x is equal to small x. So, you collect all the possibilities of probabilities when x is equal to x from the joint probability mass function. You normalize it. Therefore, uh, the conditional distribution of uh, y given x is equal to x, you may get it. So, this can be visualized only for two dimensional random variable. And the same concept uh, can be extended to any n dimensional random variable. For example, suppose I have a discrete type random variable, n random variables, all are going to be a discrete type random variables, one can define conditional probability mass function of x i given few x values x i minus 1. So, this is going to be a function of a small x i given that all other values are already taken some values. So, this is going to be a conditional distribution of x i given x 1 takes a value small x 1, x 2 takes a value small x 2 and so on capital x i minus 1 takes a value x i minus 1. Now, I am going for the simple example of uh, how sorry. <coughs> now, I will go for the conditional distribution function as a I am going to give the definition of a conditional distribution of conditional distribution function of the random variable x given the other random variable takes a value small y that is defined as earlier we have given conditional probability mass function. Now, we are going to give conditional distribution that is the C d f therefore, it is a capital F in the conditional form therefore, x slash y it is not x divided by y. Whenever I use a slash that means uh, the other random variable already taken some value. Again this is also a function of uh, x and y, but uh, you have to treat y as a constant that is same as the probability of x is less than or equal to x given the other random variable takes a value y. That is same as already we have defined probability of x takes the value x given y takes a value small y. Now, we are finding the conditional distribution function of the random variable x given y takes a value small y. Therefore, we got x is less than or equal to x that is same as from the conditional probability mass function of various values of you can treat some k given small y where k has to be less than or equal to x. So, this is a conditional probability mass function when capital X takes a value k and capital Y takes a value small y given condition. Summing over k less than or equal to x that will give probability of x less than or equal to x given y takes a value small y that is called a conditional distribution of x given y takes a value small y. 
this also true whenever uh, for all y for which the probability of y is equal to small y has to be strictly greater than 0. Otherwise, uh, the conditional probability mass function itself uh, not well defined therefore, you cannot get the conditional distribution function. So, in the first definition we have uh, explained uh, how to get the conditional probability mass function when uh, two random variables are of the discrete type. In the second definition we have given when uh, both the random variables are of the discrete type uh, how one can represent a conditional distribution function of x given y takes a value small y. We will go for one uh, easy example in which uh, you can uh, discuss the conditional distribution. Again we take only two random variables. So, the same concept can be extended to many random variables. So, as an example we give so example 1 let x be Poisson distributed with the parameter lambda and y be again Poisson distributed with the parameter <coughs> mu and uh, I make the assumption assume that uh, x and y are independent random variables. Okay. We will find out what is the conditional probability mass function of x given x plus y. Earlier in the definition we have discussed the conditional probability mass function of one random variable given another random variable, but here conditional distribution of x given x plus y. That means, uh, first we should know what is the distribution of x plus y, then we have to go for finding the conditional uh, probability mass function of x given x plus y. Since x is a discrete type random variable, y is also discrete type random variable, we know that uh, x plus y is also going to be discrete type random variable. Therefore, we can go for finding a conditional probability mass function of x given x plus y, that is a question. We know that x plus y is going to be again Poisson distributed with the parameter lambda plus mu. We got this result from the earlier exercise, earlier examples of finding the distributions of functions of several variables, several random variables. So, we know that when x is Poisson, y is also Poisson, the summation is also going to be a Poisson distributed by the reproductive property also. So, we know the distribution of x plus y is a Poisson distribution. We will go for finding what is the probability mass function of x given x plus y as a function of x given n. We treat uh, this value is going to be n x plus y is going to be n. That is same as the conditional probability mass function of x takes a value small x given that x plus y takes a value small n. That is same as that is same as the left side is a conditional probability mass function of x plus y as a function of x and n. That is same as uh, the probability of x takes a value small x and x plus y takes a value n divided by the probability of x plus y takes a value n by using the definition of conditional probability mass function. 
that is same as the probability of x takes a value small x. Since x takes a value small x, the other one y is going to take the value n minus x divided by the probability mass function of x plus y takes a value n. Already we made the assumption the random variables x and y are independent. Therefore, the numerator joint probability mass function is the product of a probability mass functions. Now, we can substitute the probability mass function for the random variable x and y similarly x plus y. You can substitute the probability mass function of x. We know that uh, the random variable x is a Poisson distributed you can substitute similarly y is also Poisson distributed with the parameter mu you can substitute the probability mass function and in the denominator x plus y that is also Poisson distributed with the parameter lambda plus mu. So, you can substitute the probability mass function for the denominator also. You can substitute and you can do the simplification. You can get the answer it is n c x lambda divided by lambda plus mu power x 1 minus lambda divided by lambda plus mu whole power n minus x. This is a conditional probability mass function of x given x plus y as a function of x and n, n to be treated as a constant. So, here the possible values of uh, x or uh, 0 or 1 or 2 and so on till n. By seeing the probability mass function of this conditional uh, distribution of x given x plus y, you can conclude uh, x given x plus y that follows binomial distribution with the parameters n comma here the p is a lambda divided by lambda plus mu. From the Poisson distribution lambda is strictly greater than 0, mu is strictly greater than 0 therefore, a lambda divided by lambda plus mu that is a lies between open interval 0 to 1. Therefore, you can conclude uh, this follows a uh, binomial distribution with the parameters n comma lambda divided by lambda plus mu. It is a very important result from a Poisson distribution the summation is also going to be a Poisson distribution if they are independent by the reproductive property whereas, the conditional distribution over one random variable given sum of these two random variables that is binomial distribution. Now, we will move into the conditional distribution for the continuous type random variables. Let me start with the definition of a conditional probability density function. Definition let x and y be continuous type random variables with joint probability density function with the joint probability density function small f. The conditional probability density function 
of the random variable x given the other random variable takes a value small y that is defined as small f I am using a small f for probability density function capital F for the CDF small f but in the suffix I am going to use a notation x slash y that means it is a conditional probability density function of x given y. Again this is also going to be a function of x and y but you have to treat y as a constant. This is same as the joint probability density function divided by the marginal distribution of y or probability density function of y for all y with uh, the probability density function at that point small y has to be greater than 0. You, we know that the, the probability density function will be greater than or equal to 0, but when you define the conditional probability density function you have to make sure that the denominator does not vanish that is a f y small y has to be strictly greater than 0 this ratio is going to be the probability density function from the probability density function one can get the probability of uh, any interval. So, here we are getting a probability density function now we are going for the same way conditional distribution as a next definition. That is the conditional distribution function of the random variable x given the other random variable takes a value small y that is capital F this is in the conditional distribution that is x given y this also a function of x given small y that is same as the probability of x takes a value less than or equal to x given y takes a value small y that is same as since both are a continuous type random variable that is same as integrate from minus infinity to small x the conditional probability density function of x given y with the variable t given small y with respect to dt. That means uh, by integrating the conditional probability density function you will get conditional distribution function. The way I have explained a conditional a probability mass function one can visualize the conditional the way I explained the conditional probability mass function one can visualize conditional probability density function also always the joint probability density function is the surface over the x y plane that means uh, this function is always greater than or equal to 0 and uh, double integration over the region uh, in which it is going to be greater than 0 that volume has to be 1. So, that means uh, if you think of uh, some uh, some surface over the x y plane that is a joint probability density function whenever you go for y is equal to small y that means you are just cutting a one plane that means a, the surface and the plane y is equal to small y that will make a one cut. So, you will get a, where the plane y is equal to small y cut at the surface you will get the some sort of a curve that curve by with the value of f y of small y you are diminishing the curve or enlarging the curve based on the value is going to be less than 1 or greater than 1. 
so that the area below that area below the curve is going to be 1. That means uh, this is a probability density function. So, minus infinity to infinity f x given y with respect to x that is going to be 1. The conditional probability density function is nothing but intersecting the surface with the plane y is equal to small y by multiplying a 1 divided by f suffix y small y means you are either enlarging or diminishing the curve so that the area is going to be 1. That means the 1 divided by f y small y is a normalizing constant for the conditional probability density function of x given y is equal to small y. This satisfies the both the properties that is always going to be greater than or equal to 0 and integration over dx is going to be 1 similar to the discrete type. So, whenever you go for the conditional distribution you are going for uh, again getting the same property of uh, probability mass function or probability density function based on the random variable is discrete or continuous. Whereas, uh, here the conditional distribution function of x given y is equal to small y when both the random variables are of continuous type this integration from minus infinity to x uh, which is same as uh, the usual way of one dimensional random variable instead of the probability density function you are using a conditional probability density function of x given y. Now, we will go for another example to explain for the continuous type random variables. Already we have given one example for discrete type random variable. Now, we will explain the same concept for a continuous type random variables. Let x comma y be a two dimensional continuous type random variables with joint probability density function is given by is a function of x and y that takes a value 2 when y is lies between 0 to x and x is lies between y to 1 0 otherwise. This is the joint probability density function of a two dimensional continuous type random variables. You can verify if you do the double integration from minus infinity to infinity dx dy will be 1. But before that uh, we will find out uh, what is the region in which uh, the joint probability density function is greater than 0 that is 2. So, you can uh, make a x versus y you shade the region in which uh, y is lies between 0 to x, x is lies between y to 1. So, that means uh, 1, 1 that is 1 comma 1. So, you draw a line that is y is equal to x. Therefore, uh, this is a shaded region. So, in this region the joint probability density function is true. That means, uh, x axis y axis the joint probability density function is going to be at the height of uh, 2 it has the some uh, sort of a plane at the height of 2 over the region uh, x y in this uh, triangle part fine. So, this is a joint probability density function. Our interest is to find out the 
conditional probability density function of x given y as well as uh, the conditional probability density function of y given x. For this problem, we are interested to find the conditional probability density function of x given y similarly y given x. To do this, first we should know what is the marginal distributions of x and y, then only you can go for it. For first one, you should know the marginal distribution of y. For the second problem, you should know the marginal distribution of x. So, let us find both marginal distribution of x and y, then we will go for finding the conditional probability density function of x given y and y given x. The marginal probability density function of x that is nothing but the integration from minus infinity to infinity the joint probability density function with respect to y correct. So, this is same as you should go and see the joint probability density function value is 2 between 0 less than y less than x less than 1 and you want integration with respect to y. Therefore, the integration is 0 to x, the value is 2 with respect to y. Therefore, when you simplify, you will get the answer is 2x and this is going to be 2x when x is lies between 0 to 1. So, the probability density function is going to be 2 x when x is lies between 0 to 1, 0 otherwise. Similarly, you can do the marginal distribution of y that is uh, the probability density function of y that is going to be minus infinity to infinity, the joint probability density function of uh, x and y with respect to x that is same as. Now, you see the interval again, it is a 2 between a 0 less than y less than x 0 uh, sorry less than 1. Therefore, the integration with respect to the value is 2 integration with respect to x and the x is between the interval y to 1. When you do the simplification, you will get the answer. 2 times 1 minus y and this is going to be the probability density function is 2 times 1 minus y when y is lies between 0 to 1. So, this is the marginal distributions of x and y. Now, we will go for finding the conditional distributions. The first one we are going for finding the conditional probability density function of x given the random variable capital Y takes a value small y. That is same as the joint probability density function divided by the probability density function of y. The joint probability density function is 2 between that interval and in the denominator we have already got the answer 2 times 1 minus y. So, when you simplify you will get 1 divided by 1 minus y. So, this is a conditional probability density function of x given y. So, you have to treat y as a constant here. So, the value is going to be 1 divided by 1 minus y when x lies between y to 1. When y x takes the value y to 1, the conditional probability density function of x given y that is 1 divided by 1 minus y, 0 otherwise. Similarly, you can go for finding a conditional probability density function of y given x by treating 
small x as a constant. Again I write the same definition joint divided by marginal of x. So, this is same as the joint is 2 and the marginal is a 2 x. So, simplification will give 1 by x. So, this is going to be 1 by x when y lies between 0 to x, 0 otherwise. In this, uh, you have to treat uh, x as a constant, y as a variable, y lies between 0 to x and the conditional probability density function of y given x is 1 by x. Conditional probability density function of x given y that is 1 divided by 1 minus y where x lies between y to 1. Here, you have to treat uh, y as a constant. By seeing the probability density function, you can say the conditional distribution of x given y that is a continuous type uniform distribution between the interval between the interval y to 1 you have to treat y as a small y as a constant. So, the conditional distribution of x given capital Y takes a value small y that is continuous type uniform distribution with the parameters or with the interval with the intervals y to 1. Similarly, here the conditional distribution of y given x that follows continuous type uniform distribution between the interval 0 to x. Here you have to treat x as a constant, small x as a constant. So, we started with the joint distribution we started with the joint distribution and we are finding the conditional distribution after finding the marginal distributions of individual random variables. So, this is a very easy problem in which you are applying the definition and you can feel what could be the distribution of the conditional distributions.